gold has retreated from recent highs as interest rates go up and fears have subsided that the Russian-Ukraine conflict will spread. However, gold bullishness persists as key fundamental drivers continue to look strong. IRAs and 401ks are down nearly $3.5 trillion since January. That's a lot of money for people to lose in six months that they worked their lifetime for. At the same time, gold has demonstrated its resilience during a period of significant economic volatility. Earlier this year, the price of gold spiked at the outset of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. That price jump has since receded as fears of a wider conflict have subsided. Gold also faced headwinds recently thanks to interest rate increases and a stronger dollar. However, the fundamental case for gold hasn't changed. In fact, it could be improving. In a recent blog post, Vanek portfolio manager Joe Foster outlined numerous fundamental factors that are poised to energize gold for the longer term. Foster writes, regardless of the trend gold takes from here, we expect it to test the top of the range again over the coming year, driven by inflation, a Fed policy reversal, geopolitical tensions, a weakening dollar, or other risk-driven events. When Foster says top of the range, he means break records. You'll notice that Foster mentioned Fed policy reversal as one of the possible factors that could send gold higher. Some have suspected that the central banks not only might stop hiking interest rates, but could actually start cutting them. There are two principal reasons for return to interest rate easing, what Foster calls stratospheric debt levels and possible economic downturn. Hedge fund manager David Einhorn of Greenlight Capital recently suggested that gold could climb much higher if the Fed is forced to reduce rates while high inflation remains a problem. During his recent appearance at an investment conference last month, Einhorn said, The Fed is bluffing. Just wait until they're forced to loosen into an inflationary spike to support the Treasury. At that point, it's best to have some gold. Debt levels are extraordinary right now, and the nation's economic engine does appear to be running out of gas before our eyes. We learned a few days ago that the final figure for GDP in the first quarter was negative 1.6%. Now we're hearing from the Federal Reserve Bank of Atlanta that GDP for the recently ended second quarter also is on track to go negative. Two consecutive quarters of negative GDP meets the technical definition of a recession. The challenges facing our economy appear to be growing in both number and severity. Given these circumstances, it's understandable why analysts believe the fundamental outlook for gold remains solid. We'll keep you up to date until next time. Hey guys, Joe Montana here with my man Devlin Steele. He and his team at Augusta Precious Metals are constantly putting out new information to keep you ahead of the game. Click subscribe now and hit the notification bell to stay up to date. You'll be glad you did.